he does it. A high fly to deep left field. Buxton turns on one into the third deck. And the Twins take a late inning lead. Wow. Yeah, can you see the excitement right there? Big hit. A high fly right field and deep. And Kepler has number one. Well, that's a good way to answer after Seattle put up four in the last half, and they knew it right off the bat, and this team's... Polanco and a base hit his first time up. And that ball's hit high in the air, right field, might have a chance. Get up, go on. Polanco, his, for his second hit, first homer of the year, 8-4 Minnesota. If you're trying to go up in the zone and you miss below, that's belt high, right where a hitter likes it. Since. There's his first as a twin. Again, into the third deck. A hanging breaking ball, and Correa didn't miss it. Six homer for the Twins hit today. 9-4 Minnesota. And that's how a batter gets some payback. You get crushed away from the plate, in on the hands, uncomfortable. You hang in there to get one to your liking, and Correa finds deck With two outs. The, the gap in right center field, and down for a hit. And the Twins have finally scored a run without a home run. Sanchez to second with an RBI double. Look how simple that swing is. Just head down. No overswing right there. Have a day. Two for four with two extra base hits. Five runs batted in. Yeah, good night. A sack fly driving in the game's first run. Pena sends one to deep right center field. All the way back, Rodriguez, and he will watch it bounce off the wall. Pena's thinking about three. Number three is going to have his first triple, and he's two for two tonight. Jeremy Pena have a night offensively and defensively. Trey with the tray. It's exciting, and the ball is jumping off his bat this evening here in Seattle. Tuve with runners on first and third. Altuve into center field, falling quickly. That's a base hit. In the score comes Pena, and the Astros down lead. Earlier tonight, 2 2 pitch. And that one is ripped through the shift down into that right field corner. Garcia has excellent speed. He's lost his helmet, and he's barreling around third. No throw offered. And the Rangers have retaken the lead in the ninth. Calhoun with a rifle shot into the corner. Staying in the game. Now, Whoa. Carlos Santana Go deep ahead. to right field to tie the game. Yeah. Oh man, that's way overdue, and what a shot that was. And his one RBI coming into this game. That's what we're hoping happens. He can heat up and start helping Salvi drive the bus. It's his job coming off the bench cold. Let's see if he can make something happen here. And he will. That's the deep left field and fair up against the wall. And the Royals will take a lead for the second time tonight. Their first lead since the first inning. Olivares is pumped up. His teammates are pumped up. And the Royals lead 7 6. Go! Well hit. Center field. Back goes Rodriguez. He's at the wall. And Dozier yes. ties it in the ninth inning. Get the pitch you like and put a little back underside spin on it. Runner goes, and the pitch is shot into right center field. Well tagged, and that ball's going to get out of here. Home run on a 3-2 pitch. Kiermaier connects, and the Rays have a 3-0 lead. That's for Miguel Rojas, and Rojas sends one in the air out toward left field. That one's deep. That one's gone. A two-run home run for Miguel Rojas, and the Marlins add on. Off the plate. That's a good A-B by Jordan Alvarez. Good plate appearance to draw that walk. Of Kendall Graveman. Ended up pitching 24 games with Seattle. There's Yuli on the first pitch from Castillo as he sends one into left field for a base hit. Reward him and see what he can do. Tucker draws a walk to load the bases. That's the second walk of the inning. Balls to righties. And Pena has seen a lot of sliders in his career. This time he gets a fastball. There's a base hit to left field. One run scores. Here comes Gurriel. He'll be safe. 
Jeremy Pena come through again. He is not a rookie. Loaded single. Now facing Jose Altuve. Altuve one for three in his career against Vesta. That ball hit well to deep left field. Altuve has hit one into the Crawford boxes. Jose Altuve makes it a 4 0 game with home run number two on the season. Can't sneak the cheese past Jose. Turn and burn. Now Tube connects with a solo home run to add to the lead. Pitch is seen. We're in the sixth inning. Bregman drills one to deep left center field. Back goes Winker all the way back, and it's off the fence. Trotting into scores, Chaz McCormick. Alex Bregman three for three. Knocks in his third run of the day. Six nothing Astro. Instead, he sends one to center field. Following quickly, that'll be down for a hit. Here comes Rodriguez throw. Here comes Bregman. Alex is safe at home plate. Jordan trying to get to second. He will be out at second base. RBI single for Jordan Alvarez makes it seven Fish. to nothing. And he drives one to center field. Hit well. Rodriguez is run out of room. Manny Margot with a three run bomb in the ninth. And Tampa Bay is back on top. And he shoots this one deep to left. Winker's going to go back, and that's gone. Grand slam this time for Margo. On the first pitch, Manuel Margo. I'm thinking to myself, that, that guy didn't hit that Oh, ball. fly ball deep off the bat of Margo, and that baby's going to go. Home run for Margo. How about Manuel Margo? He opens the eighth and greets Swanson with a home run. Two balls, one strike to Castellanos, and he lines one out toward left center field. That's going to bring home another one. Winker gets the throw in quickly, holds Castellanos to an RBI single. It brings home Bryce Harper, and the Phillies lead it 7 0. Have a night, slick Nick. My goodness. Three hits, two RBIs. And the 1 2 pitch. Swung on, line to right. That's a base hit in front of Kelman. They're going to wave Castellanos to the plate. Here's the throw, and it's over the head of Raleigh to the backstop. Castellanos scores, and Gene Segura with another run batted in. His second hit of the night, make it 8 to nothing, Phillies. Hoskins one for three. He homered his first time up, and he loops that one out towards center field. That's going to drop for a hit. Segura's heading home. Here's the throw to the plate, and it's cut off. It's an RBI single for Hoskins. 9 0 Phil. Fly ball left field. Going back on it is Winker. Back toward the wall. He jumps and he can't get it. In the background, some of the fans were saying warning track power. And I think Reese just answered that. And a high fly ball to deep left center field. That one is long gone. Closer. To the depth of Edgar Martinez. A solo home run, three straight days of homers for Gene. And the Phillies are with him. And Mazika drives one deep right field down the line, and it's out of here. Oh boy, Patrick Mazika puts the Mets back in front. <laughs> His second major league home run. And feels. The 1 1 line towards right, hooking, fair ball, base hit. Going into the right field corner for Escobar. He's on his way to second. Souza comes up with the ball. Escobar on his way to third. The relay throw too late. Head first slide. It's a triple for Eduardo Escobar. The Mets third three base hit of this game. McNeil hits it hard. Base hit. In the score is Escobar. Jeff McNeil with an RBI single. It's now eight to six. And Patrick Mazika will come to the plate uh -huh. as the tying run. Back past the mound, behind the bag, it goes into center field, and everybody's safe. Mazika magic. The tying runs are aboard, and Brandon Nimmo coming to the plate will represent the potential winning run. And Brandon slumps one, that's a base hit. Here comes McNeil around third, he will score. Mazika hits for third, he slides in, safe. It's the Mariners' eight. He can work the count, and the 1-0. And that's lined in the center, a base hit. 
Here comes Bichette. Here comes Guerrero, and it's 5-1. I'm telling you, when that wild pitch went to the backstop and the infield has to come in, and now you've got two guys out there as a hitter, your confidence level goes way up. You've got those guys sitting in there. Now you're just looking for something. Little looper, that'll drop. Tapio will score with ease around a third comes Springer.